Straight away, we are kicking off with uh, Nikola down 20.93% in this session of today, the 21st of August 2023. I think the news is that the company has uh, disclosed that it has um, it has um, completed the funding of around uh, $200, $300 million or thereabout, and the uh, markets uh, are not reacting positively to that. You can see here, it says... Um, um, Nikola plans to offer $325 million in senior convertible notes, issues warning on prod on uh, truck production after recent recall. So the company said today that plans to offer $325 million of senior convertible notes in a registered uh, direct offering. The electric uh, truck company said it expects to complete its complete an initial closing for the sale of uh, $125 million of the notes around today and the total amount of the notes that could be sold in the additional closings could not exceed uh, $200 million. So Nikola said it expects the net cash proceeds from the initial closing to be around uh, $124.5 million. So there will be a discount of uh, f around uh, $500,000, uh, $500, I think, since it's um, indicating here that it's uh, going to close. Yeah. So yeah, ultimately it's going to net, there's going to be a deduction of around maybe $500,000 or thereabouts. So, that's I, I think the news is that it's just a recall and yeah the both of them are you know they will definitely affect um the sentiments of uh, market participants so this is the order book for nikola um trading um 84.824 million shares we have a position in nikola and um let's see what the projections are saying for nikola so nikola is at some point as well the price dropped uh, through the 50 day moving average of 1.81 dollars and above average for them and uh, let's get the projections for nicola okay nkla nkla okay nkla is uh this is the one day chart we have uh, projections all the way towards uh 5.17 are you going to bet on that before that there is uh 3.95 3.95 it hasn't been at this sort of level in a very long time 3.95 the closest to three dollars uh it has the cl closest projection is uh, to three dollars to that uh, in uh, that uh, previous projection is 3.54 and the closest it has actually gotten to 3.54 is at uh, 3.42 as of um, sometime early this month it's uh, where it got some resistance and has been um retracing so it's um correct it's in a strong bearish trend yes i think it's in a strong bearish trend that is what we're looking at right now so uh is there any point looking at a 45 minute chart let's see let's see we might see something interesting there 45 minute chart so on its uh, 45 minute chart and interesting things do happen there you can see that um i saw for some time in this session it was at 2.29 dollars so it's it can be quite volatile in as much as you are just seen uh, prices at uh, the one dollar level and there about but it uh actually it's actually cooling cooling off as a matter of fact in this session yes and indeed yes like we you know pointed out earlier on it is down around more than 20 percent okay so uh yeah one one day chart this is uh what we have projections uh, uh, let's just put it at um, 3.54 just possible in the coming weeks 5.5.2 um, 5.2 5.17 dollars well it never say never you know, why it never say never you know um okay let's uh quickly dive into the next one the next one is um tup tup is um tup is let's see what's going on with tup tup is uh let's see tup is up 20.93 dollars 20.93 percent there's no news for the stock the new no news let's see what the technicals are saying okay no technical no logic no interesting logic on it on, on its uh, technicals there uh 28.665 uh, million shares have crossed the tape for tup uh let's see what uh, we can get from its on its projections on its uh, one day chart looking quite similar to nicola yeah uh, we have three point two three dollars. We have um, three point seven eight. We have um, four point two eight. We have four point eight eight. We have uh, five point nine two, and uh, all the way towards uh, eight point six one. Really ambitious. Really ambitious. 
there are down projections just uh it got a it got a bound it got a it got uh, consolidated there for around two days two trading sessions just slightly above uh 2.5 slightly below 2.59 and it is from there that is uh moving up it's on that's from there that it's got this uh bounce that uh, has taken it up to where it is right now in this session so below that it has a down projection of all the way down to 1.59 but um yeah it's trying to get a bounce with it uh continue to would it continue okay who knows okay okay let's uh move on to move on to to uh next one will be nvidia nvda nvidia okay nvda nvidia up 6.88 percent a couple of um a couple of uh, targets a couple of our targets for Nvidia. Some of them are really interesting. Although most of them are at the premium to what it is to what it is right now. So these uh, are those analysts must have been must be heavily vested in the stock. And you can see that um, HSBC uh, has set a target of seven hundred eight seven hundred eighty dollars and adjusted their target to seven hundred eighty dollars from six hundred dollars. They must have a they must have a position in. Uh, in nvidia for sure they just have to must have invested a lot so just have to promote it the much they can and then uh key bank um adjusts their own target again to 620 from 550 keeps overweight rating and uh some are saying that um nvidia is like uh probably the stock that is behind um this whole movement but um some i uh, just uh, have to disagree with that some are not um do not agree that that is the case that it is the case let's see it's uh the rally we are looking at right now in the broader market is not just uh because of nvidia the whole it is a the the what it, it's it's a broad market effort that took uh, the SP to the sort of levels it is at right now it's sort of the sort of levels reached uh sometime in this year 4600 it was just not um nvidia alone nvidia is phenomenal no doubt about that but um it wasn't just nvidia alone you know it wasn't Okay, let's see. Let's see what's here. That, that's that's where they said it here. It's here to say that um, the blistering rally in its shares uh, means that Nvidia has little room for any mean any for any earnings related disappointment and anything other than a higher than expected forecast could trigger a rout in its stock. So analysts have warned. Results could also they take the direction of the wider market next week. That is, I think, this week. Uh, so most of the S and P's 500s uh, gains this year have come from the AI driven rally in any in, in Nvidia and big tech stocks not really not uh yeah to a great extent yes to a good extent but um it wasn't just them alone in uh 60 percent of uh, the stocks 50 per 60 percent of uh the s p 500 stocks or rather 60 percent of uh, the nearly fifteen thousand uh share stocks that are trading in the us 60 percent of them were you know strongly bullish were bullish in them at least all the way towards um, um at least from september of last year towards um, middle of uh july this year you know so it wasn't just uh um, um nvidia and the other tech um, na big tech names you know it wasn't just them they did contribute most certainly but um the others were equally doing so they are, they are, are, are equally um you know um strongly bullish you know 60 60 percent of them were bullish you know up to i mean not not many of them have now started to uh there's there's a there's a um how do they put it now there's um a correction going on now a a rotation away from some of those um bullish positions on some of those stocks you know but you know we, we might see some another move again and you know what does the market do it keeps it just keep, it just keeps going up you know it, it retraces only to go back again you know okay so enough of that then let's uh, move on to the next one um next one will be next one will be amc is it amc um okay amc yes amc down 22.86 percent are they going to buy this deep again they bought the last deep they bought the last deep are, are they going to buy this one again they might okay let's get amc amc you can see that 
this is uh it has printed a 52 a new 52 week low i believe on um the 14th of august i believe i covered this i covered the stock and um uh i believe yeah and uh, i i said it would it might some some market participants might uh, buy that dip and they did to get all the way to 4.1 4.1 .1 and then um it has now started to cool off from those sort of levels or did i not convert then but um in any case i think it's uh it's printing it has printed a new 52 week low let's see whether we can confirm that 52 week low on amc let's see amc down to the 3.47 percent 52 week low yes we got that right Price reaching new 52 week low of uh, 3.05 dollars. This has been it, its previous low of uh, 3.18 by 4.09 um, percent, and it is 76.3 uh, percent below its 52 week high of 13.05 uh, dollars. Okay, yeah, that's what we are looking at right now for AMC projections. Uh, I just indicated earlier on. Uh, okay, let's get the projections. I haven't mentioned them, so we have. Uh, 4.36 it's something that can happen 4.36 4.36 this is the one day chart and we have um 5, 5.1 and then we have uh 5.36 next one is um 5.55 next is uh, 5.68 all the way towards uh 6.93 dollars 6.93 dollars amc um it's down yes down in this session so let's quickly have a look at um ftch let's see ftch 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 let's see i think it's down ftch okay up uh, farfetch up uh, four four point nine four point seven nine percent. Okay, Cit uh, City Group adjusts uh, target on far far fetch to three dollars from four point three dollars maintains uh, sell rating. Order book three thirty one point six nine one million shares, trading huge volumes. FTCH. Let's see. Let's see what the projection is. Okay. I think yeah, it may have uh, printed a fifty-two week, fifty-two week low, but maybe not today. They may have done so uh, before now. We have a uh, projection of uh, four point one six, and then five point two all the way towards uh, seven point seven six on Farfetch. But um, there's no guarantee any of those will happen. There's no guarantee at all. FTCH. Okay, 52 week low was printed on uh, Friday the 18th so nothing nothing new uh, nothing new there so uh, let's uh, move on to the next one that will be Tesla Tesla is um, up 7.13 percent in this session got a bounce just slightly below its uh this projection of um 2.218.73 dollars uh, so it's uh, trying to rebound may not succeed showing strength but um may not may not uh yeah, it can't bounce yeah it can't it can't it may rebound and um the projections we have is 254 the next one 254.25 next one is um 268.72 next one is um next one is uh 
$290.43 dollars $312.80 and all the way towards uh, $348.98 dollars for Tesla so let's uh, quickly have a look at uh, Palantir PLTR Palantir is um, let's get the PLTR up 1.28 percent any news for Palantir no no news or the book 34.037 million shares have crossed the tape let's see what the projections are for Pantera downward projection is uh, the only thing that is uh, there's only one downward projection below it it's uh, 12.64 dollars but uh, we're way more upper projection on this uh, daily chart for Pantera we have um, projection of uh, 16.01 16.01 we have um, 17 18.12 18.12 19.37 20.28 and 24.80 all oh, these are the projections for um, Palantir so let's uh, look at um, AMD AMD is uh, up 2.23% on its uh, one day chart we have our uh, projections they have a downward projection of um, 75.28 uh, dollars over projection of um, 119 123.19 133.11 139.38 147.74 for AMD so um, showing some strength showing some strength but um, it's um, I guess it's trying to rise up to the challenge from um, Nicola, so uh, it's trying to rise up to the like, uh, not, not, um, it's trying to rise up to the challenge from um, Nvidia. Okay, so see what you make of all of these stocks, and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.